Hello, and welcome back to another video of Factorio. I am Deozan. Last time we had just finished off um, setting up, or rather, yeah, basically finishing off the oil refining. Um, and I said something about not needing lubrication in the base. Oh yeah, and the reason why I didn't do that after all is because I needed pipes. Um, anyway, but I actually do need lubrication in the base very soon because the goal, uh, the overall goal for the next uh, video or two, is going to be setting up um, Blue Science, and that will require, well, actually, maybe that doesn't need lubrication because it requires engines. Engines don't need lubricant, but electric engines do. Hmm. Well, I'll just take care of it anyway. Um, and then I also thought it might be a good idea to explain what's going on with... Um, I've made the uh, iron bar production a couple of times, but I've never actually explained what's going on with it. Not iron bar. Uh, the plastic bar. I don't know. I can't remember now. It's hard to talk and do things at the same time, for me anyway. Um, so I don't remember if I actually did say iron bar, but I meant plastic bar. So, and while I'm walking over there, I'll give the usual caveats. Um, sorry, I know the audio quality has been terrible. I don't know what's wrong with my microphone volume. I've got it set to max. Um, and I know there's a lot of noises going on. Like I said, it's um, it's in the mid 80 degrees in the room I'm in now and that's with a fan blowing on me and I'm actually in a room now that even has air conditioning and it's still really hot without things going and I live off of a busy street and so you can probably hear lots of noises coming in through the windows from time to time. So sorry about that. Okay, so <coughs> um, I have this uh, plastic bar set up like this because basically um, when you're actually using the plastic bars it makes two plastic bars per second so each of these inserters will insert one or the alternate and this automatically balances it this one will go on this side of the belt on the left side of the belt this one will go on the right side of the belt so it automatically balances each uh, the products from each of these chemical plants and then, just because I guess I didn't really think about it, I don't know, I also balance it here. I think the reason I balance it here is because once it gets to the end of the line and starts gets starts getting used by assembly lines and things like that, um, they might be using one side more than the other, so we balance it here so that um, it doesn't get all backed up just on one side over here. Anyway, so that's that's that. Um, alright, let's, let's get this lubricant to the base. suppose for now, well, I know I definitely want to have some lubricant down here, eventually. Because this will make the red belt items, and then these ones will make blue, and they will need lubricant. So I know for sure that I want lubricant here. So I could send it down this line. Just to the left of that.
spaces, two spaces. space away. Alright. So now we have loop prepared for that kind of stuff later. And might as well get these set up making some of these red things. The faster belt products. So that um, the red belt and the red underground. And that needs gears and green chips, and that needs gears, and that needs gears. Okay. As I said earlier, the, the goal that I intended to be working on this video is Science Pack 3. So I need to do engines and mining drills. And I think I will expand our... Well, I'll expand this later when we're actually starting to use these red chips faster. So, engines and mining drills. I think I'll start with the mining drills because mostly because I don't need as many of them but also because I want to design the engines in such a way that I can also use them to make the electric engines. So it takes two seconds to make one of these. basically 12 every second or 1 every 12 seconds or 1 a second I don't know how am I doing this um, <coughs> I think 2 seconds so I can make 6 in 12 seconds so if I do 2 of them then I can keep up or if I have two factories making these things, then one every two seconds, or two every two seconds, should be able to keep up. Right. That makes sense, because I'm trying to do one a second of the potion, so I'm doing 12 of those. And so I want one a second of these, so I need two of those. That makes it so much easier once I finally realize that. Okay. I just had a Eureka moment where I realize something and it seems like an epiphany, but I feel really stupid in the process. It's like feeling simultaneously genius and really, really dumb. Alright, um, so I need lots of gears. So I think what I'll do is have gears on each side five gear wheels and it takes half a second oops gears it takes half a second to make 
like one. Yeah. So half a second to make one gear. I need five gear wheels in two seconds. So one factory will make four every two seconds. So yeah, if I do one on each side, then um, something like this. Where these ones on the outside are gears. These ones are the miners. So that's the setup I'm going to use. It's going to eat through all of my iron super fast, though. And I'm not sure I want to set it right there. That's one of the things about this is it can be difficult sometimes to visualize where you're going to put things. all my steel. Not that I need to use steel right now, but it'll be nice to have it lower on the, or farther on the bus so that I can just grab some when I need it. So, what I need to make these red signs and engines, or red chips and engines and mining drills. So I think I will put the, hmm, I think I will put the miners and the red chips onto one belt. That way the engines, and I'm actually going to do it back there, that way I can keep it on that side. in the way. Who put the lubricant there? Oh, yeah. I think I also wanted to do that. Hmm, I think I'll move this back a little and really be sneaky. plates there mm. 
let's add some power and see how it goes. a filter inserter to supply myself with a bunch of miners. So set this to only grab the electric miners. And for now I will limit it to a single stack. And that way, if I ever need more miners, which I will, um, I can just come here and grab them. Don't have blue science yet, so time to research something that doesn't require blue science. Logistic robotics. Yeah, we are missing out on iron. So I need to increase the iron throughput. here and tell that one to go straight. <laughs> so putting this one here after this one will take iron plates off of this belt and rebalance these two belts so that this one kind of gets refilled after sending some off this line here. potential solution to that is um, I could have this feed into this line instead of going straight to here and actually I don't need to cut this off after all because uh, the reason why I cut that off so that it would only go on one side was because I was thinking I would put the gears on the other side of the belt, but the gears are feeding directly into the miners, so I can have both sides on this belt. And actually, I think I like that idea of just having it replenish the belt.
place that's kind of struggling, but it's not really struggling anymore. So we'll see how it goes. Especially if I do something like that again. I'll bring this one down as well. it's also backed up because this chest is has met its limit so it's not grabbing more off the belt the belt's backed up so this isn't producing anymore because this isn't producing anymore this isn't producing anymore this one only has half the demand on it and this one finally maxed out so we'll have to see when this gets going again how uh, how well this can keep up that's going pretty well. So uh, we are about looks like two-thirds of the way finished with preparing for science packs. That's probably long enough for this video. I'm trying to keep them shorter than they have been in the past. Um, how well I'll actually stick to that, but this seems like a good stopping point for now since we just finished um, one thing and we're about ready to move on to another thing. So I'll end the video here. Thanks for watching. I hope it was entertaining. I hope the extra noises everywhere weren't too bad. Um, and I will see you next time. Thanks.